just like many of you, I used to think anger is not good. It's not okay. But then as I got to studying the scriptures and letting the Holy Spirit move in me and work through me, you know, when you are obedient, the Lord will answer certain questions that you may have. So just like in Psalms 34, 16, it states, the face of the Lord is against those who do evil, right? Of course, he hates evil, right? But see, sometimes anger can be a good thing. I never thought this, and some of you saying, how so? Let me elaborate. But see, if you notice in Matthew, the 22nd chapter, we see how Christ responded. He confronted the evil things of those who invaded his father's house of worship. Remember when Jesus entered the temple and he drove out all those who were buying and selling in the temple and he overturned the table? Remember how he just flipped it up? He was upset. He was angry of the money changers, what they were doing and deceased of those who were selling doves. He didn't like that. But see, Jesus proved that righteous indignation, watch this, is an appropriate response to evil. How so? Because when you come face to face with the devil's handiwork, don't, and I mean, don't be satisfied to remain safely on the sideline, just stand there and allow him to do what he is doing. Instead, following the footsteps of our Savior, Jesus Christ, he never compromised with evil, and neither should we at all. But what we should do, it's always, always use what God has given us. Because the Lord has given us wisdom to know when anger is appropriate. He also gives us courage to fight injustice. And he gives us wisdom to avoid temptation. And perseverance to follow the footsteps of his son who is Jesus. And this is something that we must do daily. I love you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. We are one in Christ. We are the body of Christ. So therefore, when you do become angry of somebody that's doing something wrong, it's not that you hate them. It's just that it's like, why are you doing this? You got to stop for the sake because you want them. Why? And what? What they may be asking? Because you care. You want them to go to heaven. You want them to do what's right because you know what they're doing is wrong. So sometimes it may anger you. But see, do not let the anger dwell within you. You can stay angry for a moment, but don't let it last. And that's in the word of God.